Hey there guys, Zach here from WinBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile Build 10080. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10052. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes in this build are the inclusion of the new apps. There are new music, video and store apps in this build. If we go down to the first lot which I believe will be store, let's demo the store first. Uh, there is a new store beta app and it's much like the store beta app found on the desktop version of Windows 10. The UI is very similar, just more condensed for the small screen size and uh, it's currently loading. Uh, this build is particularly slow, it's very buggy and other stuff as per usual considering this is a pre-release build. Uh, more buggy than the desktop builds, let me tell you. Uh, but yes, this is what the store looks like. Uh, Again, very similar to that of the uh, desktop version, you get this hamburger menu which gives you access to apps, games, music, film, TV, settings, downloads, purchased, as well as your own account. Let's show you what an actual app page looks like. Looks very nice, as you can see you get a nice icon here. A brief description of what the actual app is about and then you get to download the app and screenshots, reviews and so on. Now with the inclusion of this new store app, you do get access to the new um, Universal Office apps. So if we go to them here, we will be able to show you them off. So we actually have them on the start screen. Down here you get uh, PowerPoints, Excel and Word. So let's open up Word for now and just show you what that looks like on the phone. Again, <laughs> very similar. A common trend with these Universal apps, they are very similar to the desktop apps found on the desktop preview. So you get this uh, welcoming uh, tutorial, much like you would expect. Uh, getting things ready, so when that's done we'll be able to show you, show you the UI. I'm not going to edit these loading times out because I do want to actually demonstrate how slow this build is. It's very slow, particularly slow. Unbelievably slow apparently. Come back next week maybe. Come on build, there you go. You're all set. Uh, edit with Office 365. Yes, okay. Downloading a list of recent documents. Uh, that one will do. Opening document doc. The reason this is taking a while to open is because it's downloading from OneDrive, although the file is empty, I believe. Uh, yes, but there you go. That is, <laughs> that's the page. If you click, you can start typing. So let's start typing the quick brown fox jumps over the weekend there you go the quick brown fox jumps over the weekend there you go that's what the word app looks like it's the same with powerpoint and i guess i'll have to show you them now as well powerpoint and excel so let's launch powerpoint yeah i would not install this on your main phone especially if it's a low-end device like the 635 which is this is running on <laughs> Now, I have to keep reminding people this, oh that was faster, this is a pre-release build of Windows 10 Mobile, so this does not represent the final product in any case. Uh, let's do a uh, nice presentation, creating the new presentation on the phone. And there you go, so yeah, at the bottom you get your PowerPoints, your actual slides, you can add new slides there, hopefully, eventually, there you go, six slides, well. And then you can also edit the um, actual thing up here eventually. No? Double tap to add title. Can I type? Yes, we go. Test. I can't spot it. That'll do. Uh, let's go up here and then you can also do slideshows. I don't know why you'd want to do a slideshow on your phone, but you can. I guess this is more for actually streaming the, uh, the PowerPoint to an external display and stuff. But that's pretty nice. And if we open up Excel, finally, we'll show you what Excel looks like nothing too different from the other two apps they both sport that same UI and other stuff uh, the ribbon the office ribbon is are in these builds actually I should show you that as well they're in uh, drop down sorry drop up menus I guess I can't remember what they're called I'll show you them they are here they're not missing so this is an actual usable suite of office apps unlike um, the old one which was just a very basic editor editor so you can see here if I open this up you get all of your ribbon UI so you get like 
formatting options and you can customize what your things look like and stuff so that's all there if you were wondering so that those are the three new universal office apps there's also a new xbox app for the phone which is here uh surprisingly very similar to the desktop version of uh, the app so not a lot of differences there just again the ui is scaled down to look better on small screens you get this nice hamburger menu which gives you access to home achievement game dvr one guide connect and settings so if we go to achievements you can see all the achievements i don't have on this second account and uh game dvr again all the game dvrs i don't have on this second account there's also a back button which apparently doesn't work it does work eventually uh, up here you get your notifications uh, send feedback and so on which is all pretty great now there are new music preview and video apps which i think i already mentioned so let's go into them now where are they music where are you music preview surprise surprise very similar to the desktop i'm just going to stop saying that because you know the deal they're very similar to the desktop apps nothing special there uh, UI is very similar when it loads I'll be able to show you it man this build is slow it looks a lot like the store apparently which is fantastic that is the store okay so it's not actually installed working okay so let me install the app before I get to show it to you so do I recommend downloading this build no I do not unless you have a spare device to test out Windows 10 mobile which is kind of what you're supposed to be doing right now anyway don't be using this as your primary driver I mean the desktop builds are okay to use as your primary driver I don't recommend it obviously but you can actually get by with them however the phone builds are a different story they are nowhere near as stable as the desktop builds which is interesting because they're supposed to be air quotes universal uh, but the in real life they are quite different still the desktop and phone operating systems it's just the apps that are very similar right so the music preview preview is installed so let's actually go and take a look at that now finally music music preview and oh it's a dark version of the app so here's what it actually looks like very clean uh we can see you can refine your music library you can add music to your onedrive copy music from your pc and get a music pass if you don't have one which i don't on this account and the hamburger menu get recent plays now playing albums artists songs playlists send feedback your account and shop and surprisingly the shop takes you straight to the actual uh, store the new beta store i don't have any music on here to show you the actual player that's what the player looks like without any music but i suppose you get your the title of the music and uh, album cover art and stuff there as well hopefully the video app is now installed and i sub i imagine it looks very similar to the music preview app which is using a nice dark theme as you can see here uh, same hamburger menu fil videos films tv send feedback uh your account and shop so nothing special there other than that, I think that's about it. The start, the start screen has been updated slightly. Tiles are now closer together, which is great. Uh, weirdly for me, I believe this is an isolated issue, but the settings app just doesn't open, so I can't actually customise this start screen like with backgrounds and stuff. But there are also new transparency sliders. Um, you can change whether the background is behind the tiles or within the tiles like on Windows Phone 8.1 and a number of other cool things like that. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.